Hey campers, my name is Victoria from Sunrise Day Camp and I'm here to inspire you to use your creative mind. As we all know, this week's theme is all around the world. So in spirit of all around the world, I wanted to bring your dream destination vacation to life. Before we get started, let's see what the inspirational easel has to say. You never know who you're inspiring, whether it be through arts and crafts, sports, music, dance, school, or all of the above. You leave a mark on someone's life, and I can only hope that I do that for all of you. For today's craft, we're going to be imagining a location that we would love to be one day. And not only that, we're going to bring ourselves into that location. To do that, we're going to need, of course, our dream destinations. You can print them out, maybe you already have printed photos, maybe you can use a TV background, magazine photos, or your phone or laptop. You're also going to need paint. You can use black paint unless you want, we're gonna be making silhouettes. So you can use black paint or any color that you wish and a paintbrush. You are going to need a picture frame, mainly the glass or plastic on the inside. If you do not have a picture frame, glass or plastic, we're going to be using a black piece of paper or any colored piece of paper that you would like. We're gonna be using water to clean our brush if you are painting, paper towels to keep our surface clean, and of course, a palette if you are painting again as well. Um, the palette doesn't have to look like mine, it could be a paper plate, um, paper itself, or just pieces of cardboard, wood, or whatever you can find. Um, if you are also doing the black piece of paper instead of the picture frame, I recommend you use a pencil, a pen, and some scissors as well. So gather all of your supplies and then we're gonna get started. I put my dream destination of Greece right here. I have my black paint ready. Of course you can use red paint, blue paint, maybe you wanna do a rainbow silhouette. And then you're going to need your plastic or glass frame from inside of your picture frame. If you're not using this, don't worry. It's gonna be the same steps as a black piece of paper. We're basically just gonna teach you how to draw or paint a silhouette. I'm going to put my picture frame down onto my dream destination. And I'm gonna get my small brush ready. When it comes to painting silhouettes, you can be very simple. Maybe you wanna make it very realistic. Maybe you want it to be kind of abstract or just a little quick something and kind of just suggest that it's your silhouette. I'm going to be teaching you how to draw a more realistic silhouette. Um, somewhere in between realistic and cartoon, mainly just a basic human body. So when it comes to measuring out how large or small you want your silhouette to be, you can do either your full body, maybe you're going to do half your body, maybe your head and your shoulders. Um, for us today, we're going to be doing our head and shoulders area and kind of have it as though we are looking out into the distance. So we're gonna get our black paint onto our brush and decide where we want our silhouette to be. I think consistently for all of my projects, I want my silhouette somewhere on the left-hand side. Since I have my Paris picture here as well, I might actually have my frame go long ways. So I'm gonna put it here, and we're gonna begin with my head. So for our head, we're just gonna do a simple circle at first, somewhere in the middle. So we're gonna paint a circle. All right. Don't worry, I'm gonna help you get a little more detailed than this. We're gonna start with our circle. There you are. Now we're gonna paint a smaller circle coming out from here, kind of like a little bubble coming out of a bubble. We're gonna have our neck To help you see this a little bit better, I'm gonna move this down to the white part of the paper. So we're gonna have our neck. Right now we're kind of just figuring out the basic shape of the face. So now we have our neck and our head. We're gonna round off the top and make it a little more oval. And connect the neck to this here. This is gonna be the bottom of our head. We're kind of gonna have our person looking towards the view and uh, basically facing the houses. 
Not quite at the ocean, but not quite towards the right or left, just kind of towards the houses. Now, for my person, I have wavier hair, um, but I like to wear it up. So I'm gonna have a wavy bun. Um, you can do your hair however you like. If you have curly hair, you can look over here. Um, you can kind of just suggest the curls with little wave motions. Maybe you have straight hair. You can have little flyaways when you're painting your hair. Maybe you have a buzz cut, so you can just keep it to your head. And maybe you don't have any hair. And that's where you're gonna just keep that to the smooth base of your head shape. Maybe you could also add a hat. Um, you know what, let's actually add a hat and I'll have my hair down in a ponytail. So for a hat facing in that direction, I'm gonna do a baseball cap. So we're just gonna imagine, of course I already did my silhouette, but let's just imagine we're doing the cap. All right, it's gonna round off to my head. A little bit off my head here, because the cap does fit a little large usually when I wear them. We're gonna go around. Now since we're facing kind of that direction, we're gonna want the cap to go a little bit like this, kind of like how we did the chin before. Not like that. I'm gonna do the little boop on the top, that little button that's on the hot top of uh, many of our hats. And then I'm going to just suggest some of my curls in my ponytail. Now it's for our shoulders. Let's imagine that we have our shoulders here. Of course, everything's gonna be black for us or whatever your one color is. So it doesn't have to be too detailed, but to help you get those details such as sleeves and collars, let's just do one step at a time. So we have our shoulder here to the shirt and then we're gonna have the arm. So the arm's gonna be a little bit smaller than that sleeve here. We have our sleeve is out. Our arm's gonna be a little bit more in a little bit tinier, kind of looks like a little bell and then something sticking out of it. Now we're gonna have our elbow, let's do a little dot over here below that last rectangle and then have our shoulder bend our arm a little bit. So we're gonna bend the arm, paint that part a little slant. Now after your elbow, as you get towards your wrist, it kind of gets a little bit smaller so you can also use that as a reference when painting. So we have a little bit bigger here and it makes its way in towards the hand. Now hands are difficult to paint, but we are just doing a silhouette. So we're gonna just do a little one line here to suggest the thumb. And then we'll kind of make it look like it's folded in. So we'll just do this little, almost like this, right? Have that thumb out. If you want to do little hills to suggest that the fingers are folded in, you could do that as well. Now to get the shirt, we're going to go off the neck. I'm going to get that, that little back down. Connect towards the shoulder. Color that guy in. So as we see, we lost that different sleeve to arm size over on the inside, but on the outside we still have all of that dimension. So we're gonna finish the bottom of the shirt somewhere around here, kind of where the arm bends, and then we're going to do a part of the pants. So off of here, we're gonna have it meet the pants. Now since we have the arm bending, I felt like it would be a nice touch to maybe have us holding something that represents us. Um, that could be, whether it be a stick from your travels, maybe your destination is like a long hike, um, maybe it's some flowers, maybe it's your phone, anything that kind of represents you. I'm going to do flowers because I always have flowers with me. I have flowers in this destination. So let's just do for flowers sake, <laughs> we're gonna have a couple little Fine, sticking out a little bit of the stems, right? And let's just start suggesting those with some little brush strokes, right? You don't have to know what kind of flowers, but you can definitely tell that they are indeed flowers, right? Maybe some little ones up here that connect with some little bits. 
All right, so now we have our silhouette. You're going to let that dry. Now, if you decided to draw yours on a black piece of paper instead, you would have done all the same steps. Um, you would just trace out the final shape and cut it out and then use that as your stencil. So once those are dried, you can place yours on any of the destinations that you wish to be. So here's me in Greece. One day, right? <laughs> and then here is me in Paris. Another thing you could also do is get a larger picture frame. Maybe you have a place that you'd love to visit with family or friends. Um, maybe there's people you'd like to meet and you can connect those silhouettes together. So I have one with me here with flowers. Maybe I want to get another frame and imagine myself here with someone else, whether it be a friend, family member, maybe a pet, um, maybe someone famous that I admire. Now that we're all done, it's time to share our dream destination vacations on Blooms. I'm excited to see the places that you wish to travel and maybe you've already traveled there. If you have, tell us something about that place that you love. Explain maybe what you put inside the hand of your silhouette and why. I'm really excited to see what you guys created and I can't wait to inspire you all to use your creative mind next time. See ya. If you're not watching this on the Sunrise Studios app, well, why not? You can download the Sunrise Studios app on your phone or tablet from your app store and you can watch all of our virtual cam videos the moment they're released. You can also find Sunrise Studios on Apple TV, Roku, Amazon Fire, or you can watch it on our Sunrise Association YouTube channel. See you soon.